sharded. System survey complete. Okay, we need jobs. Generator. They took our gerbs. I'm just gonna make more gerbs. Accretion complete. class star studied. This very bright star will probably burn out in a few million years, which is very soon on the, astro on the astronomic scale, as the fusion process and its core are extremely fast. During the examination of Josk Fumat, science officer Hertogt Okrechtjukt Why did I choose this name list for this species? Notice that onboard solar collectors generated 150% of the normal amount of energy. It wouldn't be surprising, considering the radiation present, but it's interesting that they didn't melt. Energy credits or science? Mm. Take the science. That's a lot of science in this early game. System survey complete. Got some crime. Construction complete. Anomaly found. System geology charted. Anomaly found. Soothing resonance. The unique crystals found on Wo 3 possess quite exceptional properties. The Tekater crew reports to have found their visit to the planet's surface entirely soothing leaving them refreshed and placated upon return to orbit. Apparently, the crystals resonate at a frequency known to be medically therapeutic for bogenites. If ever we were to settle on Wu-3, our, our populace would surely enjoy living in constant proximity to these resonant minerals. Neat. Broken Clock the broken clock system is a strange place. Orbiting a long dead star is a massive ancient ring world. Despite the obvious damage sustained by it over the years, very few debris are visible. The other unusual sight is a multitude of shrouded bodies, the planet and several moons covered by an impenetrable purple haze. But most importantly, the system is affected by bizarre time dilation effects that do not seem to correspond with the known principles of general relativity and create pockets of distorted time across the system. Besides affecting our perception of time, they seem harmless. Yet something is clearly wrong with this place. Oh, I think I know what might happen with this system later on. Oh no. If this is the event that I think it is, um... Oh, this is a bad place to be next to. 
I won't spoil it though if it does happen. It won't happen till much later. Attrition complete. Research. Anomaly found. Research it. I wonder if I want a fourth science ship. Oh, encounter in broken clock. We have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the broken clock system. For now, we have codenamed them Beta Alien. Oh, I got, I got aliens in here. It's my first alien encounter! Is it like actual aliens or is it like fauna? Actual neighbors! I'm gonna wanna try and snag the broken clock at this time though. Uh, so now we get to check out the first contact system. Oh my god, I got four envoys? Well, that's great. So yeah, we put an envoy in here and then it basically acts the same way as, uh, Dig sites. Except you're making first contact. Uh, lost prototype prototype ship discovered. Uh, after more thorough scans, the anomaly turns out to be a spaceship. Intriguingly, it is one of ours. Our new, our crew recognized it as one of our prototype FTL capable ships, thought to be lost on a test flight years ago. Its orbit is unstable, and the ship is slowly descending into the atmosphere. It seems to be undamaged, but energy readings are minimal. We received no response to our hailing. In order to be able to further investigate what has happened to the ship and its crew, its orbit has to be stabilized first. Uh... Situation log yeah. updated. Rock brain. Oh, it's this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, it, I think I think this is guaranteed to fail if you try and take it out. So uh, just study it. Special project complete. It turned out to be a bit more tricky than anticipated, but the prototype is now in a stable orbit and ready to be examined more closely. Keep me informed. Let's see. An urgent message has arrived from our scientist. The crew is dead. The mutilated corpse is floating through the depressurized sections of the ship. As there is no decay in vacuum, I can only guess for how long they have been sick they have been dead. It remains a mystery for now why there is no atmosphere, as the ship's hull appears intact. The ship seems to have run out of energy a while ago. It will take some time before we will know more. How horrible. Grim discoveries. All energy cells were exhausted. Some of them had to be replaced with reverse cell, or not reverse, reserve cells to get at least some of the ship's systems online. The logbook shows the crew joking in joyful anticipation of their first FTL flight. But then, all recordings broke up shortly after the ship's FTL engines were activated. It is hard to assess how much time passed before the recording started again. The flight seems to be over, and the atmosphere has changed completely. Those same faces smiling a moment ago are now distorted by pain and screams. And screams echo as they mutilate themselves. The recording ends abruptly. Shall we investigate further, or leave the dead to rest? 
We must know what caused this tragedy. Ah, final report. Working through the sensor data recording or recorded during the FTL event, our scientists came to the conclusion that the prototype and its crew le left our plane of existence and entered another dimension where our natural laws do not apply. The severe mental stress must have driven the crew to madness. While reviewing further data, they were interrupted by the noise of the crew fighting and screaming. One of the scientists' assistants had seemingly gone mad and was trying to destroy the ship. While shouting incoherently about the prototype, demanded more passengers to the other side. With no shortage of luck and at the cost of more injuries, the rest of the team managed to confine him aboard the science ship. After this event, Metek chose to destroy the prototype and everything it might have brought with it from this other side, but remotely using the ship's self-destruct device. We might never know what exactly happened to the ship and its crew, but our science team is alive and the chief scientist colleague is on the way to recovery. Tragedy averted. Clear signal found. Our sensors have detected a particularly clear repeating signal from the Beta aliens that seems to offer our linguists excellent material for codifying their language. They are optimistic that we will be able to make some significant progress on the back of this stroke of luck. Adds to insights. We need more gerbs. Anomaly found. Yep, I didn't get a new side ship from that, so let's make one. Mysterious spacefarers. We are still gathering data on the alien spacecraft that was reported in the broken clock system. If this vessel is an emissary of a previously unknown alien civilization, as seems likely, we must determine if they go with the grace of the spirits or if they are agents of wickedness. The first step will be to div divine their language and the nature of their belief system. We will, we will sell them our faith. If they, if they be heathens, we shall sell them our faith. For a profit. As the good book says, heathens will get fleeced. Because <laughs> we're a megachurch. Uh, oh, we got our first faction. Special project complete. Compact star studied. And you're going to go this way. System survey complete. Ah, first natural wormhole. Oh, did you not finish surveying the system? Two more factions founded. Counter and Briscoe.
Get on it. Starfish under attack. Personal entity. Oh god, it's huge and mm, very translucent. I can't fight that. Also, I don't know what crystalline entities are yet. Um, I'm just gonna have to let it kill it. <laughs> Although, here, let, let's reinforce my fleet. Oh. A close shave. The CSS Vructeur. Our, our vessel we had sent to investigate the Beta aliens narrowly escaped a vicious attack by their forces. It seems they had thought to seize our ship to interrogate our crew, probably with the aim of swinging further hostilities against us in their favor. Thankfully, the uh, CSS Verukter managed to engage emergency FTL before it was too late. Anomaly found. God damn it! I'm trying to research that system so I can take it. I want it. Anomaly found. Anomaly. Mm. They're resisting. Hostile. Fossils discovered on Ohani Prime. Fossilized remains from several different species that do not appear to have been indigenous to Ohani Prime have been found in a large and secluded valley on the planet. They all date from roughly the same time period, within the span of a few centuries from 3.6 million years ago. Each of these species seems to have evolved in its own unique biosphere and all appear to have been sapient. Strangely, every fossilized individual found so far shows signs of having met a violent end. Huh. System geology charted. Mummified pilot. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in orbit over Obrium 6. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit, complete with a helmet. And maybe a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. Tragic fate. Anomaly found! Crystal infestation, oh no. As the colonists on Ovani Prime were still recovering from the devastating attack, we received worrying reports about crystalline fragments growing in various locations around the settlements. Further investigation revealed that the spreading of these crystals is not limited to the vicinity of the colony. Instead, they can be found in varying concentrations across the planet, slowly extracting minerals from the soil throughout their growing process. It's hard to tell at this point how this will affect the planet's ecosystem. There are multiple possible courses of action to take. The colonists can try to root out the crystal infestation, periodically harvest them, or study their growth. Ooh. I'm not gonna root them out. Mm, study them, or harvest them regularly? does already have good minerals on it. Mm. 
Let's see. Harvest them regularly. Oh, you're back. System geology charted. Who are you? I'm already researching them. <laughs> 